It's not cold in July, it's, it's warm in July. Cold in July was directed by Jim Mickle, stars Michael C. Hall and Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard. And it tells the story of a man who, when an intruder breaks into his home at night, he shoots him because he's intruding and robbing the house. And then it kind of leads to this cat and mouse game between the man, played by Michael C. Hall, and the, his victim's father, who was recently released from prison. I was really excited for this movie. It did very well at Sundance, and when it came out on Video On Demand, I rushed to see it the day it came out. And I was very disappointed, actually, because I was kind of expecting what I told you about the plot. This cat and mouse game, kind of a psychological thriller. I really liked that kind of movie, just the, like, kind of a chess game. But as this movie unrolled, and this was my biggest problem with it, it just got out of control, and it just went in this direction that I thought was completely out of the realm of realism. I kind of lost track of it a few times because I really didn't understand it. Maybe it was my fault and I just didn't understand it, but I just thought it really got out of hand. Michael C. Hall gave a very good performance. I'm a, I'm a Dexter fan, at least most of the show, and this was a good performance, entirely different than his performance on the show as you would assume, because hopefully most characters aren't like Dexter. But he had a very strange mix of vulnerability and aggression, and I thought he pulled that off very, very well. Sam Shepard had a very similar mix of vulnerability and um, aggression, although the aggression was much, much more apparent compared to Michael C. Hall, where the vulnerability was much more apparent, and that kind of made him seem like the same head of a coin, two different heads of a coin, not the same head, that be the same thing. I saw this movie a really, really long time ago, so I'm having trouble kind of remembering it, but these are the major things I remember. And honestly, the thing that completely ruined the entire movie for me was the way the plot unraveled, and the plot is pretty much the main focus of a movie being good. And I just felt that it really, really, really got out of hand. Like, if you watched the first scene and the ending, you would be the most confused person in the world, even more so than if you watched, like, the first episode of Lost and then went straight to the finale. It just didn't make any sense. I Character motivations didn't really align for me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Did look nice, nice, nice score, nice cinematography, but I'm gonna give Cold of July a C. I really just wish it stayed more contained and more of a psychological thing rather than what it ended up being, which I don't really wanna say. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.